Characterization of recombinant Arabian camel insulin by Zara Rashi, Isatcha, and Simon Groom. The aim of this research was to produce an active recombinant camel proinsulin in E. coli and characterize it to use in many downstream biotechnological and disease treatment applications. Nowadays, genetic engineering can be used to make identical copies of any gene, which is called cloning. Traditionally, it relies on the use of plasmids or bacteriophages. For example, in this picture we can see that human insulin gene has been combined with the plasmid of an E. coli. This modified plasmid is called recombinant DNA. E. coli is then fermented, so every time it multiplies, the insulin gene is copied and therefore the protein is synthesized. Later, the proteins harvested from the E. coli and purified. Here, the synthesized protein is proinsulin, which is the precursor of insulin. It falls back on itself with the help of disulfide bonds, and it cleaves to insulin and C-peptide. Being able to isolate the insulin gene and look at its structure has helped scientists to identify other insulin genes in different species and use them as disease treatment applications. Four different methods were used. Sample collection RNA extraction was the first. The pancreas is removed from adult camels, weighted and stored on ice. The tissue samples are cut into thin slices and instantly submerged into 2 ml sterile centrifuge tubes with RNA stabilizing reagent and buffers. Total RNAs were extracted and separated from the, from the tissue samples and transferred into Eppendorf tubes containing mercaptor ethanol. Lithium chloride solution was added and they were then homogenized on ice by a tissue grinder. CSTFA which inhibits ribonucleases and promotes the hydration and solubilization of nucleic acids and proteins was added to the samples, vortex thoroughly and stored on ice for 10 minutes. Samples were then centrifuged at high speed for 15 minutes at room temperature and supernatants were dispensed off carefully by vacuum aspiration. RNA pellets were then washed with extraction buffer, lithium chloride solution and CSTFA. Samples were then centrifuged at high speed for 5 minutes and supernatants were aspirated without disrupting the pellets. Tubes were incubated on ice and washed with ice-cold ethanol. Then centrifuged at high speed and the ethanol supernatants were discarded carefully. The yield and purity of RNA was assessed by spectrophotometric analysis and the integrity of the RNA extraction was evaluated in MOPS denaturing the agarose After RNA extraction, it was converted into DNA by reverse transcription. The resulting clone DNA, which only contains the expressed genes of an organism, was then amplified by polymerase chain reaction. The PCR amplicons were analyzed by gel electrophoresis and successful reactions were used as templates for subsequent amplifications. The forward and reverse primers used to amplify the pro-insulin cDNA were designed based on previously published sequences of pro-insulin cDNA of other species. CAM-INSF2 and CAM-INSR2 were used to amplify the camel pro-insulin which contains a B-chain, C-chain and A-chain respectively. Molecular cloning of pro-insulin cDNA came next. A one-step cloning strategy by enrichogen was used for the direct insertion of amplified cDNA into a plasmid vector. Briefly, the camel pro-insulin cDNA fragment was subcloned to create a PCIFS construct. The plates were incubated at 37 degrees overnight to allow the colony growth. This was then transferred to E. coli, so camel pro-insulin was expressed. Lastly, the pro-insulin was expressed and purified. Expression was induced by adding one millimolar isopropyl beta thiogalactopyranoside. This was followed by lysis with the bug buster extraction reagent from Novagen. Protein purity was assessed by SDS-PAGE. The protein was dialyzed against PBS in a cassette dialyzer and concentrated by column facilitated centrifugation. Camel insulin gene was expressed and fractionated by STS page. It separates the protein according to the electrophoretic mobility from negative at the top to positive at the bottom. As all proteins are negatively charged, they move down towards the positive charge. However, different lengths of protein travels in different speed, so the small ones travel further down the page compared to the bigger ones. A molecular weight standard is used to get the baseline weight to estimate the weight of the protein we are testing. 
Commonly blue staining is used to visualize the separated proteins. It's seen as blue bands. So, from this result, we can estimate that the camel's insulin has molecular weight of 5.8 kDa. The amino acid sequence of human and camel proinsulin were compared by laser zine program. Comparison of amino acid sequence indicated that there are 11 different amino acids in camel proinsulin as compared to that of human. The clones contained 265 base pairs and nucleotides were different in 36 positions. So if we look at the diagram, the nucleotide sequence diverged at positions 39, 42, 45 and so on. In this experiment, Arabian camel proinsulin was cloned for the first time by recombinant DNA technology, which was compared with human insulin using laser gene program. The results showed that the camel insulin was composed of base pairs which encodes for 87 amino acids and has 87.5% similarities to human insulin. Studies have been done in other animals' insulin like rabbit, sheep, pig, dog and horse. Pig insulin was widely used on human to treat type 1 diabetes. Looking at the enzyme in more detail, the sequence of porcine insulin and human insulin is almost identical, but not exactly, as they differ by one amino acid. This suggests that the camel insulins could also be used for treatment. However, more studies should be done, as nowadays pig insulin are not used because it might get rejected by our immune system or, ha or have allergies and religious views. So the human insulin are cloned by using E. coli. Before this, the camel insulin had not been identified. In this research, they found out that the camel insulin is similar to human insulin, however, by 11 different amino acids. In camel pro-insulin as compared to that of a human. These results allow us to predict and identify the structure of the insulin in other species by a comparison with human structure. Similar to pig insulin, by doing further research on camel insulin, it might lead to finding the use of camel insulin, for example, treatment in camel diseases.